Hey guys, thanks for your patience. I know it is Saturday. I'm getting ready to send out this video. Uh, it is running a little bit late. I am having a little bit of issues getting these videos out, uh, especially the ones in the Green Hornet. Um, they take a ton of time to do. Uh, number one, because I'm not really good at it. So I uh, apologize for the late showing on that. So with that, I am actually gonna try out uh, using a video editor uh, for some of the videos, uh, just to help me out. Um, I'm still gonna try to retain that creative influence on all that stuff, but I'm looking for someone that will work with me, uh, preferably here in the Phoenix area, um, obviously preferably someone with aviation experience. I do work with Final Cut Pro. Uh, so if you have some of those, uh, requirements not really requirements obviously but uh someone with those kind of experience uh, i would actually love that um, the reason why here in the phoenix area is because i do want to collaborate a little bit more uh, with how the videos go together i just need a little bit of help uh, putting them together because i'm running out of time so if you know anybody interested uh, please have them send me a DM on Instagram. I know I get flooded with a ton of them. I'm, I'm trying to keep up, uh, but it's very difficult for me to keep up on that too. You could obviously tell. Anyways, if you guys know anybody, DM me on Instagram at Flying with Big Earn, and uh, we'll take a look at you. Give it a shot. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it won't, um, but right, you don't know until you try. All right, guys, last but not least, I do want to give the guys over at Flyboys a very heartfelt thank you. They let me try out this uh, leg strap. I used it in the Green Hornet on the way up to Grand Forks, and I've used it ever since. It has actually been a game changer for me. So thank you to those guys. If you guys want a coupon code, I have one. It's called Big Earn. If you go onto their website, I'll link it down below. You can either use the link or use the uh, coupon code Big Earn. You'll get 10% off your order. So thank you again to those guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Let's watch the video. Hey guys, welcome. We are on our way to Grand Forks. Hey, thanks to Pivot Case. Uh, I'm gonna try out this leg strap today. I'm excited to use it. But uh, anyways, we're heading over to, uh, the first stop's gonna be Grand Junction. Um, the weather's a little bit nicer there. I was gonna try to get up uh, towards Cheyenne, Wyoming, but uh, weather just doesn't look that great uh, over the mountains, so I'd rather uh, cruise over the mountains with a bunch of gas. So we're going to stop off at Grand Junction, grab some fuel there, and then uh, head on up to uh, Grand Forks. We might stop prior because uh, the fuel's really cheap, I think, on this place called Barnes. I'm an airline pilot. I'm cheap, okay? <laughs> All right. Let's get this thing started. All right, guys. We are up and running. Just getting ready to grab our information here. This, uh, man, I got to tell you, have this knee board. <laughs> I know it's kind of like an Air Force style, but... Uh, Man, it works really good. Uh, thanks again to Pivot Case. That's uh, this is a really good tool, especially in a Cirrus when you don't have uh, you know the yoke and it's not a real good mount. I have a bigger iPad, so having the uh, knee board is awesome. So there you go. Scott Zulu, Port Information, Whiskey, time 1453 Zulu, wind 210 at 3, temperature 27, dew point 4, altimeter 29 or 9 or 5. Expect visual approach, runway 21 in use. No assist airmen, cranes, vicinity of airport at or below 300 feet AGO. Portions of North Keeler ramp closed. Taxi lane Alpha 15 in the ramp closed. Advise on this contact, you have information, Whiskey. All right, we got information, Whiskey, uh, 2995 is set. We're going to go to runway 21. Just dial this down so we can see where runway 21 is at because uh, it is very embarrassing to taxi the wrong runway or attempt to taxi the wrong runway because they will tell you you are taxiing to the wrong runway. Taxi on the ground, Sierra 715 Alpha Hotel is that Elite uh, Taxi with Whiskey. Yes, Scott Field Ground, Sierra 515 Foxtrot Mike got Elite Taxi with Whiskey. Sierra 515 Foxtrot Mike, Scott Ground, follow the other Sierra out, runway 21 Taxi via Alpha. 21 via Alpha behind the uh, other Sierra, Sierra 51 Foxtrot Mike. All right, let's get back to some checklists, taxiing checklists. Parking brakes are released, brakes are off, HSI is up and running. Gyro is good, turn coordinator looks good in the turns. And we're up to before takeoff, check. I was thinking about trying to get farther, like into Eagle over there in Colorado. Unfortunately, right now, I'm going to Charlie's Ross Aviation with Whiskey ready to taxi. I mean, the airplane did do it. Hotel, but Charlie's got the ground, runway 21, taxi via Alpha. By the time I was arriving there, 21 via Alpha. It's just one of those things. I play it really safe when flying into uh, 
the mountainous terrain. Uh, if it's IFR, I like to carry a lot of fuel for a good reserve. And, uh, you know, honestly, do I need to do it? No, there's uh, Grand Junction's just right there. I could stop. It's Grand Junction Junction at 420 is ready yeah. to taxi from so. us. One of those things where it's just a uh, risky assessment. The ground. Follow the citation out of Ross, runway 21, taxi via Alpha. The 115 Alpha Hotel. Another Cirrus that's uh, based where I keep my airplane. Looks like he's going solo. That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, do a little bit of a run up here. All right, those are closed. Cap handle, remove this. Yeah, I like Nico's uh, deal of putting his... We have to have this up and uh, visible. So what I'm going to do is put the visors down and slip it right here, right up on the top. That actually works out pretty good, too. Thanks, Nico. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of other people do it, too, but I watch Nico. <laughs> All right, air conditioner. Uh, we got it on. we got to turn the research fan off uh, before we take off. Fuel quantity, we're good. We're up to tabs. Fuel selector is on the right tank. We'll go to the left tank. Uh, mixture full rich, flaps 50%. Now let's power it up. Engine's nice and warm because I had some camera issues. Six, Good morning, clear team Santa Ana Airport so via is 07 departure. Water. Harbor uh, transition uh, as filed. Maintain 5,000. Uh, Expect flight level 430, three minutes after departure. Uh, departure frequency one. All right, getting out of here. Set our altitude. Uh, we climbed 17.5, that's why I got the oxygen out. But uh, we have one shelf that's a little sneaky guy heading to the south. We're going to be at 6,000 feet. So let's just do 5,500. Keeps us nice and safe and, more importantly, below the Class B so we don't bust it. This airplane, it's really easy because it climbs really quick. All right, 5,500. We're planning a, a damn one departure out of here. We're ready to go. Scott Swift Harris, Cirrus 5-1, Foxtrot Mike, holding short 2-1, ready for takeoff, be northbound departure. Cirrus 5-1, Foxtrot Mike, Scott Swift Harris, right turn up on approve, runway 2-1, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 2-1, right turn approve. So, uh, Cirrus 5-1, Foxtrot Mike. Alright, so we got a right turn on departure. Alright, this is runway 2-1. Final is clear. All right, we're lined up. Controls look good. Fire's coming up. And away we go. Scottsdale Tower, Sierra 715 Alpha Hotel at uh, Alpha 16. I request a northbound departure. 60 knots. Sirius 715 Alpha Hotel, Scottsdale Tower, right turn northbound approved, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Runway 21, clear for takeoff, 715 Alpha Hotel. F51, Foxtrot Mike, request early turn. Sirius 1, Foxtrot Mike, right turn approved. Right turn approved, 51, Foxtrot Mike, thanks. Alright, 90 knots, we're climbing, flaps coming up. Three hundred feet yaw dampers come back on, so we're good right here. Beautiful day. It's starting to get warm here in 600. Arizona. Six hundred. Six hundred caps available. Head northbound, 5,500. I'm going to turn to flight director. Scott, Tower. Scott, uh, 20566, uh, just ordered Falcon. Flight level change information for, uh, Whiskey request VOR, DME Alpha, and downwind departure to the north. All right, navigate. Justin 20566, yeah, gas filter out transition approved, altimeter 2995. 2995, 698, Foxtrot Lima. November 698, Foxtrot Lima, say again, your request. Uh, Six nine eight Fox Charlie Lima, five, or four and a half miles to the north, requesting a Falcon Field transition. The November eight Fox Charlie Lima transition approved at or above three thousand five hundred traffic off your uh, heading to your right, three thousand serious climbing northbound. 
We'll be looking for him. Thank you. 698 Fox Lima. Have a good day. Serious one, Fox Route Mike. Uh, traffic off heading to your right, uh, 3,400. Descend, uh, I'm sorry, maintaining header above 3,500 is traffic. Accessible. 12 o'clock. Up to Same 35. altitude. Yeah. One mile. Insight, Serious 51 Fox Route Mike. Serious one, Fox Route Mike. Roger. Free exchange group today. One Fox Route Mike. Good day. All right, got the traffic. All right, the shelf here is 7,000, so I'm going to put 6,500 on here. Man, I got to say, <laughs> this pivot case, uh, Lake Mount is real slick. Um, it's nice having this available. Tower as well as all the information. Is ready in sequence for 2 1. Nice. All right, guys, looking good outside. Look at that. It's nice and smooth, too. Okay, climbing out right at uh, 126 knots. We're doing uh, 155 over the ground, churning out at 162. Got an 8 knot headwind. Over there at Grand Junction. Looks good. Winds are calm, 10 miles clear. Oh my goodness. That is an airline pilot's dream right there. So, <laughs> nice and easy. And 50 minutes to go. <laughs> it's all good, man. We're flying to Sirius. It's all good. All right, guys, we just leveled off here at 17,500 feet. Pulled it back to about 29 inches on there and the manifold pressure. We just pulled back the, lean the mixture back to that, uh, the blue line there on the fuel flow. We're burning about 17.2. Try to get the uh, turbine inlet temperature right at 17 or 1600. So, let's pull it back just a little bit. Let's see if we can get that drop down just a little bit more. There we go. Start cooling off. But most importantly, we keep the cylinder head temperatures right around the 350, 360 range is kind of what I'm trying to look for. So, actually up here, I could pull it back to about 16.6, 16.7. And uh, that gets me right about 1,600 on the TIT, the turbine inlet temperature. And 356. So, what's our speed, you ask? Well, we're doing uh, 185 over the ground, churning out at uh, 188. Unfortunately, we still have a headwind. It's only four knots, though, so I'll take it. But, uh, fairly smooth ride. Not too bad. Looks nice out. Fortunately, the uh, clouds are. Right at our height, actually probably just a little bit higher than us. So if we need to, we'll drop back down. And if we need to do anything more, we'll actually uh, pick up an IFR clearance. We'll call flight service station, file one, and uh, pick it up in the air if we need it. All right, guys, we dropped down to uh, 13,500 feet down here. <laughs> Unfortunately, the headwind got worse, temp. But a uh, little bit of clouds out there, not much. There's a little bit more uh, behind us. So we did a little bit of a deviation to the right, descended, just to make sure we're underneath it. But check out the views. This is what I love about flying and general aviation. Down here, you get some amazing views. There's canyons down there, all the red rock. That's just gorgeous. So. Well, yeah, you know, being in an airplane for uh, what's going to be about five hours today, my opinion, if you're going to drive five hours, like uh, if we're going to go to San Diego, for instance, or L.A., we'd be in a car for five, six hours. I'd much rather be in an airplane for five to six hours. You get a lot more, uh, I think you get better views, obviously, and uh, it's just cool. So, again, I've said it before, big fan of general aviation. I just love, uh, we the field site. We can cancel now. love the views, because uh, I'm always amazed, five, three, four, one, no matter problem. how much I've been flying. Anyways, not that I have to tell you guys that flying's cool, but flying's pretty cool. Almost there, 37 minutes out. Uh, we just got around that little band of weather. So there's a lot more towards the Denver area. All right, guys, we are 13 miles away. I told us to enter a... Uh, Left base for runway 29. 
So. Okay, five four six. Turn left, Alpha five. Taxi park, monograph point. It's getting seven. bumpy <laughs> down here. Left Alpha five. Taxi park, monograph point seven. Cap five four six. Click. So let's run a descent check. Oxygen uh, just turned it off. Pass it through ten thousand feet. Altimeter is set for the field. I'm going to turn it full cold. Midfield left downwind for the system. We're on the Brown, call your tank. Base. Actually, switch it to the right tank. Our lever. Well, tell we'll call my base. Nine or eight November. Right. Pressure it checks good. There's six zero one two zero. All right. Uh, before landing, shoulder belts and harnesses are on. Fuel pump is on. Two nine or six zero one two zero. Fuel pump is on boost. Mixture. We'll get it full rich here and uh, right on final, and then we'll grab the uh, flaps there too. So we'll exit the checklist there. Scroll that in. Let's do some hand flying. Actually, let me pull up my chair. Get it out of cruise configuration for landing configuration. All right, so autopilot. I'm just going to hit the autopilot button that keeps the yaw damper on. I'm just going to maneuver for left uh, left base to runway 29. November 9 or 8 November base to your discretion. Runway 29 clear to land. Again, love using this for flight uh, on there. It gives us a lot of information. I can pull it up on the... Uh, on the airplane as well, but I like having this kind of chart up. This gives me uh, information uh, on there. I've got information here. i got information overload. <laughs> Almost. Not quite. All right. 8,000. 6,000 feet traffic pattern altitude out here. So I'll hit 6. I can see the end of the runway. And we're looking good. Number 1, 2, Zulu, heading 270. Contact on departure. <laughs> Heading 270, contact every departure, 60120. Number 5, one departure, Mike, number 2, following an arrow on a mile base to final runway 29, clear to land. Number 2, clear to land, 29, sir, 5, one departure, Mike. All right, we are clear to land, landing light comes on. All right, that was 6-3 uh, for 6, but we are on the approach. So we're going to continue our descent. Could feel the hot damper work in there. All right, we're below 150 knots. Flaps coming to 50. Nine or nine or eight November tax parking lot ground point seven. Mixtures coming. Nine or eight rich. November taxing parking monitoring ground point. Ooh, there's a little racetrack out in front Altitude. of us. Altitude. Full flaps coming in. I don't know if you guys could see that, but a little racetrack down there. All right, we got full flaps. Make sure it's full rich. We're clear to land 29. Five hundred. Five hundred feet. Looking at the Vazies. Looking like we're on proper glide slope. Get flap lights. Clear to land. bit of a gust there. Like something hit the side of the airplane. <laughs> Looking at the, the runway. Oh, I think I had the uh, 7-3 sight picture there. <laughs> That was a little, chopped it in a little bit. All right, flaps coming up. Give us some better braking. we got an RJ coming out, so we'll just pass behind the RJ. And look for that self-service. Number one, Fox, Mike, turn left, Alpha 5, taxi park, mount ground, point seven. Alpha 5, taxi park, we'll monitor ground. One, Fox, Mike. Mike. All right, guys, welcome to Grand Junction, where the local time is 11.15. <laughs> Yeah.
yeah, it's just one thing. This strap, again, from Pivot Case, came in super handy. Uh, it just works in the Cirrus. Um, worked really well. I was very, very impressed. Uh, stayed stable on your leg. So um, that is definitely going to be what I use in the Cirrus from now on. But anyways, I wanted to point that out. Let's go get some gas in this thing. We're gonna update the fuel price because it did say under five bucks, but it's five bucks now. So that's yeah, okay. Just gotta update the uh, the pricing there on four flight. Have our receipt. Yeah, two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. All right, I'm gonna go service myself, and then uh, we'll get in the airplane and we'll head on out. Next leg. All right, guys, here we are. Just finishing up the uh, checklist for takeoff. We got the autopilot checked. All right. Go to tower. We're ready to go. Grand Junction Tower, Cirrus 5-1, Fox Sharp, Mike, holding short of runway 22, uh, ready for takeoff 29. 5-1, Fox Sharp, Mike, no delay, runway 29, clear for takeoff. I appreciate that. Uh, clear for takeoff 29, Cirrus 5-1, Fox Sharp, Mike. All right, that was very nice of him. He's gonna let us go. Final is clear. This is runway 29. You know, you could get a little confused because of these intersection runways. Anyways, 29 Tower, is good. Uh, six two Zulu is up. on the left downwind runway 29. -er. Six two Zulu, Roger at midfield. Make a wide right 360 around to the downwind. You're following the regional jet on a seven mile final. Full power. Traffic in sight. Uh, right 360 to six two Zulu. 60 knots. Rotate. Ooh, she's heavy. <laughs> I filled her up full of gas, so I expected that. Alright. Above 90 knots, we're climbing flaps coming up. Right up to 17,500 feet. 600. Caps is available. And November 3, sir, Alpha, I'm going to lose your right, radio guys, here in just, just a little bit. Uh, the next frequency for you is going to be on 132.1 uh, in about uh, 30 miles. 32.1 in 30 miles. 132.1 and we'll uh, check in in 30 miles. 3, sir, Alpha. Colorado is just beautiful up here. November 5-1 Fox Shot Mike, Denver Center. 5-1 Fox Shot Mike, go ahead. Yes, Ben, uh, how's the ride so far over there? It's uh, nice and smooth. 1 Fox Shot Mike. Anyways, guys, I, I had to show you that. Uh, I haven't even turned on the XM yet on this leg. Uh, number 1. Just uh, because it's, traffic it's so awesome. Two, eight, for departure. Southwest 110, release for departure, report airborne. Release for departure, report airborne, Southwest 110. Oh, those guys are coming out of hate. Anyways, I'll leave you with that view. Beautiful. All right, guys. We are less than 40 minutes away from landing. So that's good. I broke out my ZOA because it has caffeine in there. I didn't want to break it out too early. But I'm breaking it out now because I've been flying a long time and I'm going to need a little bit of caffeine. Plus we're close enough to where uh, to where if I uh, need to go, I can I can get there and land and go. <laughs> you got to think about that when you get to uh, get in your mid 40s, man, let me tell you. Nice and flat out here. We are in South Dakota. 2018 ramp. Rolling up to North Dakota here shortly, getting ready to cross the border. Yeah, get close. Again, we're going to take one pit stop, try to do it, uh, get the airplane filled up, hit it to the last leg. It's just like a 20-minute, if that, 15-minute flight there. So that's it. I'm going to get my ZOA on because I need some caffeine right now.
All right, guys, almost there. All right, guys, we had an audible. Um, apparently, Barnes County Municipal Airport is having an aerobatic show or competition going on. Uh, funny, it's not in the notums or anything like that, but it is what it is. So uh, we're just going to carry on and go to uh, an airport called Hillsboro, which is just south, south of Grand Forks. November 5, 1 Fox, uh, Mike, you are clear now. One Fox, you're Mike. Thank you. So she was just giving me a, a clearance. It went up to 10,000 feet, so we we'll love about 10 5. Now we're going to continue on down. Um, get a little bit lower. Sky was 423 uh, Tango, Minneapolis, Sir Roger. I maintain for level 190. 190. You know, I'm always talking about you know, being able to audible. 423 Tango, radar contact, five miles south. Basically, what we got to do. We planned it. We uploaded a lot more gas that gave us options, essentially. So we had the option to head on out uh, a little bit farther. Gas over there is uh, allegedly a little bit cheaper, so we'll head there, grab some gas, and uh, try to quick turn it, head back up uh, to Grand Forks from there. It's probably a 10 minute flight from there, so uh, it'll be good. That's what we're gonna do. We're smoking down there, uh, doing 200 knots in the descent, which is great, because I've drinking half my Zoe, and I kinda gotta go. <laughs> I have been flying like three hours and 44 minutes though, so you guys know. That's flight time too, so it's been in this airplane a little bit longer than that on this one leg. We still got 10 minutes to go. Still good though, I really enjoy it. All right guys, here we are. Okay, nice. 9912, Bumpy. contact Minneapolis Center on 124.2. We're about 10 today. miles out from the Hillsborough Airport. Point. Gonna set up for runway 34, probably a left base entry. 5-1 Foxtrot Mike has the airport site. Sirius 5-1 Foxtrot Mike, no observed report traffic between the Hillsborough Airport. Wind of Fargo 310 at 6, the radar service is terminated. Squawk VFR and change visor frequency. Good day. Thank you. Good day. 1 Foxtrot Mike. Traffic, Cirrus 51, Fox Route Mike, 7 miles to the southwest, inbound full stop, Hillsborough. Alright, Autopilot's coming off. Set myself up. Hillsborough traffic, Cirrus 51, Fox Route Mike's entering a left downwind runway 34, Hillsborough. See anybody in the traffic pattern? Don't hear anybody. We are on the right frequency. <laughs> Never done that before. Not. Next year's going full rich. More flaps to go. For traffic, Sirius 51, Fox Truck Mike, left downwind, runway 34, feels good. First notch of flaps going out. There's that balloon, try to fight it. Field for traffic, Sirius 5 on Fox Trot Mike, turn left base, 3 4, field score. Oh man, it's like a speed break. <laughs> Altitude. We're landing. Flaps coming to full. Hillsboro traffic, Cirrus 5-1, Fox Trot Mike, turning final, runway 34, Hillsboro. Looks like a crosswind down there, so. Yeah, a little bit of a crosswind, not too bad. 500. All right, just same point airspeed all the way down now. A little bit slow, add a little bit of power. Come down.
Okay, that was a bad landing. <laughs> hey, everybody gets them one day, right? Or two days, or three days. Whatever days you got. They got a bunch of construction right there, so we're going to just back taxi this runway all the way back down to the end. As for traffic, Sirius 5-1 Foxtrot Mike, we're going to back taxi runway 34 to self service fuel. Hillsborough. No one coming. So it's good. I actually drove here uh, with my daughter. Uh, you could see the freeway right there, and I said, oh man, airplanes, you know, airplane nut. So we uh, actually drove over here, so I kind of know where the self service fuel is just from driving here. Oh, this isn't too bad. But I am going to turn on the AC. This is where traffic series 5 1 Fox Trump might clear uh, runway 34, Hillsburg. All right, front left for the landing check. Just finishing the before takeoff check. Uh, you go ahead and program something in the flight plan. We're going to KGFK, which is going to be super quick. All right, so we're about ready to go. Uh, we got Su-14 on the down one. Probably let them uh, land first, and then we'll skedaddle. Hillsboro traffic, Su-14 is left base 434. Hillsboro. Traffic All right, guys, here we go. Last stop, Grand Forks. Hillsboro traffic, Cirrus 5-1, Fox Trot Mike, taking runway 34, we'll be straight out departure, Hillsboro. All right, 3,200 foot runway. So we'll make sure we take up as much runway as possible. And away we go. Sixty knots. And away we go. All right, 90 knots climbing, flaps coming up. Energized because it's one leg, <laughs> one short leg. There's 300 feet, yaw damper just came on. See, direct. Bro traffic 214 is left base 434, Hillsboro. 600. Taps is available. All right, we're navin' it, pelching it, 120 in it. Grand Forks approach, Cirrus 5-1, Fox Trot Mike. Uh, Cirrus calling inbound, say numbers. Yeah, November 5-1, Fox Trot Mike, just off Hillsboro, 4,500. Cirrus 1, Fox Trot Mike, it's called 0137. 0137, 1, Fox Trot Mike. Cirrus 1, Fox Trot Mike, your radar contact, 25 miles south of Grand Forks, VOR, maintain VFR uh, at about 3,500. And then via 5 miles straight in for 355, Grand Forks. All right, at about 3,500, five miles straight in for Grand Forks South, or uh, Cirrus 5-1, Fox Trotman. Well, it's busy up here. <laughs> That's good, though. That's a good environment for you guys up here, guys and gals. Get you used to a radar busy contact environment. Miles southeast uh, of the Grand uh, Forks. Airports. Takes that scaredness out of the, uh, the radio calls once you get used to it, so good stuff. This really reminds me of uh, pilot training, Air Force pilot training. You know, everybody coming back to different waypoints that you enter the pattern at. And uh, it's just a beehive of activity during certain pushes. So. Cirrus 1, Fox Trot, Mike. Grand Forks International, 12 o'clock, 13 miles, report field in sight when able. Uh, airport site, so, uh, Cirrus 1, Fox Trot, Mike. Cirrus 1, Fox Trot, Mike, Rogers. 
so everybody's reporting in different points and I remember my buddy Herb perched right on top of me. We're all on our solos. Buffoonery, man. It was good times. Air Force Star, Cirrus 5, 1, Fox Rock, Mike, Visual 3, 5, 1. 218, go around as observed. I'll call cross one. 218. 218, do you need another short approach? Affirmative, 218. Roger. Cirrus 5-1, Foxtrot Mike, Grand Forks Tower, continue on my 3-5 left. Continue 3-5 left, 1 Foxtrot Mike. Vertical track. Su-27, number 3, runway 3-5 left, clear to land. Number 3, runway 3-5 left, clear to land. Su-27. Su-43, number 4, runway 3-5 left, cleared for the option. No, number four is clear for the option, so runway three back left, two four three. Cirrus one Fox Chart Mike, reduce speed to one one zero or less. One ten or less, Cirrus five one Fox Chart Mike. That's uh, busy. Two three six, turn base. Turning base, two three six. Pull that big fan. All those blades really flat. There you go. Fox Tower, two four, at Watergate, full stop. 2-4, Grand Forks Tower, Newman, fly north outside the pattern, runway 3-5 left. 3-5 left, that Newman, fly outside the pattern, 2-4. Cirrus 1, Foxtrot Mike, you're following Archer, ahead into your left, starting your left base turn, number 3, runway 3-5 left, clear to land. All right, we're looking for traffic. Traffic, land, uh, 11 o'clock, low, Cirrus 1, one mile. Cirrus 1, Foxtrot Mike, they're 12 to 11 o'clock and a mile. And it's inside, southwest, or uh, Cirrus 1 Fox Shark Mike. Cirrus 1 Fox Shark Mike, can you give me any slower on the speed? Yeah, pull it back. Su 36, I'll call cross one. You'll call cross one, Su 36. Airspeed. Su, uh, Su 43, make this touch and go only. Cirrus behind you on final. Su 43 is going to make a go around. Su 43, Roger, go around left side, I'll call cross one. 500. Go around left side. Two, four, three. Suit. Yeah, two, four, three. Alpha three, contact ground. Alpha three, then over to ground, two, two, seven. Cirrus one, Fox Shrine Mike. The archer ahead of you is going around. You're number one. Number one. Cirrus one, Fox Shrine Mike. Thank you. Right. Two, four, Two, four, Newman. Minimums. Two, four, fly north. Fly north, two, four. Su-41 Mike, Grand Forks Tower, thanks for waiting. It's going to be a little bit still. Su-4 Minimums. Cross Minimums. Su-18, short approach approved, runway 3-5 left, cleared for the option, one departure prior to arrival. Two left, cleared for the option, short approach approved, Su-18. 237, you're following Archer, midfield Dowin, making a short approach. Number two, runway 35 left, clear to land, wind 330 at three. Tower 241 Mike, 35 left, ready for, for departure. 237, go ahead with the read back. Number 235 left, clear to land, 237. Cirrus 1, Fox Tribe Mike, turn right at Alpha 3, next right turn, contact ground, 124.57. 2457 and uh, Alpha 3 for 1 Fox Tribe Mike. Two four one Mike Grand Forks Tower, stand by. Archer making short. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of busy, wasn't it? Or after landing, mixture power is going on. Transponder lights were off. Pedo heat is off. And check, please. Hey, Ground Sirius five one Fox Trap Mike, clear at Alpha three, going to uh, the FBO. Just five one Fox Trap Mike Grand Forks Ground taxi Alpha Alpha four. Alpha Alpha four one Fox Trap Mike. Thanks. Alpha and then Alpha 4 in there. All right, guys, we made it. We made it to Grand Forks, home of UND, one of the best flight schools in the Grand country. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for, well, me. There's nobody else, right? <laughs> thanks for joining me on this trip, keeping me company, and uh, coming with me all the way out to Grand Forks. Uh, I'm going to do some moving, help my daughter move, and just overall visit. What an excuse, right? Take the airplane out. So out here at Av Flight, man, these guys are great. Take good good care of the Green Hornet while it's here. 
Uh, thanks for watching again. I uh, appreciate your guys' support. Seriously, I really do. Uh, if you've subscribed, you guys are awesome. Thumbs up, all that good stuff. I never say that stuff, but I, you know, I figure if you guys think it's good, you'd give it a thumbs up, right? But uh, anyways, I do appreciate your guys' support, always. And we'll see you on the next video on the way home. Hopefully this isn't too long. <laughs> Thank you.